few notes on the Excel advanced functions. When you're creating reports, it's always best to make them interactive by using cell references. So as you saw in the last exercise, we didn't put the start time and end time or the unit name in the search dialog box. We made reference to them on the sheet. And when things change on the sheet, that will ultimately change the queries. So you always want to use cell references whenever possible. And if it's at all possible when you do mathematical operations um, to uh, use cell references for the mathematical operations, it will help automate your spreadsheet. If you need to edit an array or uh, enlarge an array, you can uh, press F2 to get into edit mode and then change it and press Control shift enter keys. This will update the array. If you get into edit mode of an array and you can't get out, simply press the escape key. And finally, to update functions of an array on the spreadsheet to manually force an update, sometimes you have to press Control alt f9 The Control alt f 9 keys will update the entire Excel spreadsheet.